Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, East Bay Stamp Chick. This is Michelle, and today I have a project share and a quick tutorial at the end to show you how to make these. Um, I used the Bell Floor uh, Photo Play Paper Collection by Becky Fleck, and if you've seen a few of my other videos, you know that I am trying to use this paper collection completely up. So. Uh, this video and the next video that I do will have this paper collection in it so I can finish. So that's exciting to me because I really wanted to get this this one done and I've had this for a long time. So if you want to see some other things that I made with this there are uh, some other videos as well. So once you know you see all you'll be able to see everything that I've made. It does have a cover sheet, so there's nothing on the other side. So this is what the paper pack uh, originally looked like. And I do, um, let's see, oh, mine did not have stickers, I don't think. It just had the cut aparts. So I think I got this free at a scrapbook expo at the photo play booth, and it didn't come with stickers. All right, so it's just, it just was 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. So this is what I used, and let me show you what I made. Now, I had already made some items, and so I needed to use up this collection, and I just started to make things that were basically the size that I needed. It really wasn't that I wanted this particular size, but it fit the scraps that I had. And so that's that's why they are the way they are. <laughs> and you know, there'll be one other video. You will see another flip book that I made, and that's the same thing. The reason why it's the size that it is is because that's what fit with the scraps I had. So I had a lot of really small scraps. This measures three and a half by, let's just make sure, four and a half. Okay, so that's what size. I made four little books. I used the cut aparts on the front and didn't really add any other decoration. I might go back and add like some enamel dots or something on there, but otherwise I kept it pretty simple and then used whatever pieces of the collection I had available. So this flips out and this flips over and that's it. Really simple. This is something you could easily put a gift card into and then some photos if you wanted to. It'd be really cute little like mini photo book. These could be really cute announcements. So it could be a um, birth announcement. It could be for Christmas. And you know you're giving a gift card along with some photos maybe of the kids or your family. And you know it's going to the grandparents or or whatever. So they're really cute. So I made four of them because that's kind of what I had left. Get these open. All right, so this one says, you're just my type. So really cute little typewriters, lots of floral. Okay, so really simple. And I did use, this one got a little squished. I did use 110 pound cardstock to make these and I will show you how to make them at the end. It's really cute. Queen for the day. And I did black cardstock because it seemed like that kind of just went with everything. And good vibes only. I just love the typewriters. I thought the typewriter was so cute. And then I love florals. So, um, so those turned out really cute. I think this one got a little bent also. I don't know where I was storing these. Oh well. Anyway, so I made four little books. I didn't put anything on the spine because it was so skinny. And um, yeah, so they're ready to go. All right, so these are easy. So if you have scraps, this could be a really fun thing to make. You are going to need two pieces of cardstock. This is 110 pound cardstock that I got at Michael's Crafts. And I'm using the craft, so hopefully you'll be able to see it easily in the video versus the black. I think it's kind of hard to see. So your cover is going to be seven and a half by four and a half inches. So seven and a half long, four and a half tall. And we're going to score at three and a half and four on the seven and a half length. So three and a half and four is where you'll score. And that will create your spine. 
okay? So it's a half inch spine on these. Okay, so that's my little booklet. Okay, then the second piece, this is your inside pages. This is a 10 inch, okay, by four inch. And I scored at three and a quarter, three and a half, and seven, okay, along the 10 inch side. And this is the 110 pound paper again. And I just pre scored these because I didn't really feel like you needed to see me score. I'm sure you all know how to use your scoreboard. And just to save a little time. So this creates um, a quarter inch spine on the inside pages, which I always find is a little bit harder to fold. Okay. Okay, so it's actually, my writing's gonna be upside down, but it goes like this. So it'll go right into here, okay? So this is so simple. Basically, you want to put glue, or if you have a tape that you want to use, any type of adhesive, whatever you like, onto this spine. And we are just going to center this as best as we can in our cover. And you want to look at, is it centered this way? and this way. And you want to make sure that it looks straight. So it looks pretty even to me. I'm going to run this over, just burnish this to get a really good seal. And then I'm going to pop that up because of course I have extra glue. So I don't want to glue that. So you can see I probably got this one a little bit close to the edge on this side, but basically it can still close easily without interfering with that. Here's the back. So I have more space on the back. I didn't quite get it as centered, but that's okay. All right, so then that is the booklet. So here it is, open it up. You've got your first page, it flips out, fold it in, and then you've got your back page and the back, okay? So really simple, right? I mean, you can't get simpler than that. And then I did add on mine, I put a um, piece of white cardstock on this one and then the cut apart on this to just make that even thicker. And then the inside only has the patterned paper I didn't do an additional border but these are nice and thick so they're gonna hold up really well um, I didn't do that on the back so I just did the the um, patterned cardstock patterned paper and part of that was just due to like what sizes of paper I had this is this project was purely about using up scraps and that is why this is that size um, you'll notice that it is smaller on the, you know, goes in on the edges. You don't have to, if you have the right size scraps, you could extend this out to the edge of your book if you wanted to. That'd be totally fine too. But that's not the size scraps that I had. So this is what fit. Um, so really quick and easy. So really a fun way to um, use up scraps and get yourself some little flip books that you can utilize, you know, birthday and different occasions hand out gift cards or quick little photos, you know, cute things like that. Okay, so there we go. That is my little flip books. Okay, super cute, really fun, really easy, and use up your scraps. So thanks so much for joining me today and visiting with me on my um, video. And if you like crafty inspiration, please subscribe to my video and give me a like and um, be on the lookout because there will be one more video in the next day or two um, with the remainder of this collection. And it's going to be a little bit bigger flip book than this one. 
All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.